Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. Was someone sent by God or do you believe he is God? Meaning, do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was sent by God? Honestly, I believe he was sent, but at the same time, I believe he was... Right here, right here, we'll give his brother right here, bro. You know about the Quran? You don't know about the Quran? Yeah, that's the problem with the West. I'm telling you right now. How is it that nearly a third of the entire world knows about this, but a small population does That doesn't mean it's being kept away from you, my brother. It's being kept away from you. Let me ask you this question, my brother. Are you are you someone like obviously who's spiritual, who believes in a higher power? Okay. Now let me ask you this. Do you believe that Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, was someone sent by God or do you believe he is God? Meaning, do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was sent by God? Honestly, I believe he was sent, but at the same time, I believe he was like... Yeah. Well, it's it's either one, right? It's either you are God or you were sent by God. So do you feel like he was sent by God? No. So you believe he is God? Yeah. So you believe that God can be a human being? No. Okay. So do you believe, doesn't it make more sense that God sent Jesus exactly. to teach all of us how God wants to be worshipped? If that's what you believe, my friend, that makes you on the line of a Muslim. Did you know that? The fact that you believe just that statement alone makes you on line with Muslim. Have you ever heard of the Prophet Muhammad? No. Never heard of the Prophet Muhammad? The no, I'm not into the, the, that type of... But still, but still, you've never heard... Have you heard the name Muhammad before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the number one popular name in the world. It's the most famous name in the world. Oh, okay. okay. Now, Prophet Muhammad is the brother of Jesus, Moses, Abraham. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah. But Muhammad is a brother of theirs and he is the last and final messenger of God. And his message is no different from anyone else's message, which was what? Worship God alone. There's a heaven, there's a hell, there's a day of judgment, there's angels, there's predestiny, there's, you know, there's beautiful things. My brother, try it. You can taste it. Yeah. As this brother tastes Zum Zum for the very first time, I want to remind you guys that we need to sell 500 bottles between now and August 1st so that me and the Zum Zum boys can go to Palestine. For those of you who don't know, we're building a free school in Palestine and we imported authentic Zum Zum directly from Mecca into America and Canada to not only bring access to this miracle water to Muslim Americans and Canadians but to also bring access to a free education to the Palestinian children. We want to use 100% of the profits from the Zamzam sales to help the Ummah out. And we actually only need 387 more bottles to be sold for me and the Zamzam boys to travel to Palestine so we could search for the land that we're going to build this free public school on. If you would like to support the link is in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Now the Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, meaning on the series of messengers, meaning God sent Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Jonah, Jacob, all the messengers, you know them. He sent them for one purpose, to teach mankind how he wants to be worshipped. So God sent the final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, with the last and final revelation. So you know how the Bible has the Old Testament? You know how it has the New Testament? The Quran is the final testament. Never been changed. It ain't gonna never be changed. Is it, say that again, sir. It never been changed and it'll never be changed. Can you believe that? The Quran is the only book has never been changed. Meaning the Bible has different versions, you know? Who wrote it, who did it? The Quran never has been changed. For over 1,432 years, my friend, and counting, this book has never been changed and it has scientific miracles that are accurate till this day. And it has miracles of history and it has miracles of the heart that when you read this book, my brother, your heart crumbles and it melts because it's the first time that your heart is reconnected with its creator. You understand? So this book is special for multiple reasons. But the most important thing about this book, my friend, is that this book has to come to you. The fact that this book came to you shows that it was meant for you. So the question is, what are you going to do about it now? This is directly a message from God. we we'll read the book. My guy, respect, uh -huh. respect, respect. Sir, sir, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you, my friend. Hope you like the water.